It's been three days since the massive update to Respawnables, and I'm going to show what I believe is the best weapon they've added to the game, Double Barrel Shotgun. This update was pretty huge. They added a few new weapons, new gadget, cleaned up maps, changed some of the animations. But I've been very impressed with this uh, Double Barrel Shotgun. I think it rivals Blunderbuss. In fact, I think it's better than Blunderbuss. Uh, so we'll see if there's a shift in the game because, as you know, there's a ton of blunderbuss guys, and I think it may shift a double, double barrel shotgun. We'll see. But here I am just owning a bunch of guys. Here comes this guy named Sean who I've been playing with for a few games. He's only a level 15. He's got the exosuit. He's got invisibility. He's wasting all this money because he's just getting capped in the head by me, of course. But uh, just watch the sure power of this gun. It's actually got okay range. I mean, look at that. Uh, popping around corners up against Blunderbuss, they don't stand a chance. So, pretty good weapon. Um, it's got 10 in the clip, which is awesome. It takes forever to reload, but you can go quite a while and get probably four or five kills without even having to think about reloading, which I try to do. Nice little 10 streak there. I've been surprised that this weapon can handle head-to-head -head with Blunderbuss pretty well. There's one, and there's two. So when you're popping around corners like I've shown numerous times, you're going to be able to take a Blunderbuss really easily. It's the head-to-head -head battles that are a little tough to get the timing right. Uh, you know Blunderbuss is more like a pop-pop, and the shotgun's more pop-pop. So there's a perfect example. He was just too close. I couldn't get my first shot off quick enough, and so he wins that battle. So what I found is when you're coming on a head-to-head -head with Blunderbuss and he's running towards you and you're running towards him, shoot as soon as your cursors go red and then by the time he reaches you on the second shot you'll have killed him. There's a perfect example right there so as soon as I'm locked in red I'm shooting that first shot and then by the time my second shot goes you're gonna be able to win that battle. The other thing you're gonna notice with this weapon is it slows you down quite a bit Especially if you've been playing with Blunderbuss, you're going to notice a significant change in how fast you can run around. So I do recommend getting as much agility as possible. With the new shirt they've got, that tattoo thing I'm wearing, that gives you plus 7%. So I am wearing that and then getting an additional 5% with the pants. So that's giving me plus 13. That seems to help. Um, I wasn't playing with a lot of agility before and since I changed that, I feel like I can get a few more kills just because I can move around a little bit quicker. I've been able to rack up quite a bit of kills since I've been using double barrel shotgun. I've had a few matches in the high 30s. Again, I've only been playing with this weapon for about two days now. But I chose this match to showcase the weapon because I am going against a bunch of um, good players. Everybody in here is over level 30 except two, one of those being Sean who has all the upgraded stuff anyways. But everybody else is, is level 30 and above. Unfortunately, I was just running over too many stars this game, so I hit the score limit with 30 seconds left, or else I would have been able to rack up probably, I don't know, five or six more kills in the remaining 30 seconds. But I have to say, this gun has been a welcome addition to the game, really fun to play with. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new format of me just showing one game with commentary. Also comment below on what your favorite thing is about the most recent update to the game.